Yeah, breakfast time, we are having flush. Welcome to the History Hunter. Me and Eagle Eyes out, and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna find some German positions. I'm gonna share with all of you. So join us and let's go out and find the pass together. Today's target is right there. It is impossible to see and it is so windy, but we'll take you there and uh, fill you in when we get over on that side. That's gonna take a little bit more than we thought. Just a little stretch of land between us here, but it is so hilly. Hilly and silly. <laughs> All right, we're heading over in that direction, so let's continue. And then it's downhill again. Whew. That's how it is to be a history hunter. Anyway, we are at the Atlantic Wall, German fortification, very, seldom seen spot actually never heard about it before just recently oh look at that look at that that metal bar used to be the barbed wire fence systems that the Germans put up look at that it's growing into the tree yeah and there's some kind of spike there that is interesting straight through that branch there or the tree trunk all right, our first target is right there. And you might say, what about that? That's just a stone wall. Well, it's actually something totally different. And we're gonna show you that right here. Always surprises on the Atlantic wall. Look at this thing here. It's been really well made. It is concrete and rocks. It's a very small fortified near defense position. You can easily have a couple of guys there with a machine gun and they feared that there will be an allied intervene and intervention coming from this side here. What about that? That's a beautiful little thing. I've never seen that. When I see something beautiful, look at that. The Germans thought that the allied allies would come in here. <laughs> it's pretty strange to think that they would imagine that, but this little stretch of land that you see out there was extremely extremely important for the Germans and the reason is a very specific harbor that they needed. Eagle Eyes is over there. That's the first little thing we're gonna have a look at. I'm gonna fill you in and let you know what it is. First thing you need to look for when you're looking for the German activity is that. It's just basically a staircase in the middle of the terrain. And why is that an important little clue? Well, it's because what was inside there? And you might say, yeah, it's just a stone wall. No, it's not. Something completely different. I'm gonna show you that right now. Why this stone wall? Because they had a barrack in here and now it was completely um, protected by enemy attack. And inside there, there's a hallway and that was put there with a purpose to actually be able to go inside, um, just take cover and store munition. Holy, does it go any further? Oh, wow. This is massive. What on earth were they thinking? This is huge. Some poles there. What is going on? And it continues all the way down there. Wow, never expected that. Wow, so let's have a look from where we came from. See that? Maybe this is a, trans it's a, it's a hallway to get from one place to another. Let's see, go around here. This is impressive. Never thought that they would have that in here. And where does it lead to? 
Wow. Would never have guessed. You see here, they really carved it out straight into the mountainside. And I wonder what's gonna meet us out here. Wow, look at that. There's a wall with a little, look at that. I've never seen that before, you see that? There's a little slot you can look at. Wow, look at that. And this is kind of where they came in. This is a shelter. You see the half circle kind of thing here. And it's basically just a concrete thing. Nothing else than concrete, white paint, and the half circular ceiling there. So we're looking for a gun placement and placement somewhere here but um it's not that easy often we have some aerial photos from the time when they was here but i, I really can't see it uh, we're gonna do a little more, more and see if we can find it you know many of the Atlantic wall positions are huge. You can just boom, see them right away. Some of them are actually very, very small. And for us trying to find each and every little cranny and crook of what's here, it's sometimes very difficult. It's up and down and up and down in the terrain all the time. But we hope you enjoy what we show you and uh, please watch our videos in full length. That helps us out tremendously subscribe, comment, share, and uh, hit the notification bell. And if you want to check out the possibility to become a patron supporter, and I give away a lot of beautiful World War II dioramas, so you can check out the videos in the beginning of each month for that. So who knows, you might end up with a beautiful World War II artifact. That is the gun mount, a base probably for a KWK. Ooh, there's a room inside there. That's gonna be interesting. But the base is all the way down at the coastline. And I'm guessing they were really eager to have this gun right here so that it can protect the, the uh, area in the harbor here. Very nice. Now all we have to do, we have to find out what's in there. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, Eagle Eyes, he's gonna do the honor. Look at that huge mount there. Yeah, probably was a massive gun there. See there, the original wood inside the munition storage probably a kwk for five centimeter wow it actually goes further down inside there holy cannoli all right bring out the flashlights again we are going into the abyss <laughs> wow this is tough tough work wow holy it is very tight very tight okay so on this side munition storage on this side munition storage can you see it i'm just gonna have the camera in like that and that's a smaller one wow are you kidding me there's a tunnel inside can you see it there's a freaking tunnel wow we didn't expect that at all. Where does that take us? Wow. Here, how, how? That is weird. Okay. I'm gonna get through these rocks here and I'm gonna connect you on the other side. All right, we came from here. KWK entrance is, <coughs> bless you. The ammunition storage in there and on the right. And then, look at that, it's a little detail there. I'm going to pan around. I didn't expect there to be a tunnel here whatsoever. All right. There are stuff laying around here. Oh, don't tell me that we're not going to get any further here. Oh, it's flooded. It is flooded. There's actually a box there. Oh, we can't get any further. There's a of building material under oh wow 
Let me see. Oh, the opening is further over there, so we have to check out, see if we can see the opening. There's some gear on the other side there. Terrible. You just cannot get over there. It's been flooded for a very long time, I think. So, okay. We'll go around, see if we can find the entrance on the other side, but this was something else. Wow. Wow, this is where they would have come in. Look how they chiseled away, created that tunnel, both to be able to supply the munition through the backside of that KWK position. And uh, it is actually a kind of panzer Abwehrkanon or anti panzer tank cannon or whatever you like to call it that was there. Can't get any further in, but this hallway is huge compared to the little structure on the outside. That is strange. But wow, how cool that we could show you this. Really, really pleased that we bumped into this because we actually didn't know that was here. Wow, love that. Now we're following the contours of the mountain further up here. We think we just saw another feature here. Another wall means another feature inside there. We just spotted another thing on the other side. Wow, this place is just amazing. Oh, I'm so happy we found it. Yeah, look at that. There is the barrack. Finally, we'll be able to show you how smart they arranged this. The barrack is here. See that? That is probably the chimney. Now you can get the feeling of how they did that. Let me get inside here. Yes, we just stepped into the barrack area. And now you can see the wall here covering the barrack. And inside here, German soldiers would dwell. After they were on duty, they would retreat back here. There would be living rooms, sleeping quarters, kitchen, bath, sink, shower, toilet, everything you can imagine. They had right here covered in between the wall of the rock, the wall around it, it would actually be pretty safe and they would have a camouflage canvas on top of that again. What a fantastic little area. Barracks coming up here and there's a set of stairs coming up here. Look to be something here but I'm guessing not. And there's a path leading in here. I can see some built rocks and concrete on the side here that has got to lead down to something. Wow, what is going on? Eagle Eyes, he just discovered this. This is a trench. This is a near defense running trench. And it's kind of going all over the place here. Wow. Yeah, it's coming from up there. Where are you? Oh, he just went into the trench. It's kind of under here. See if I can force myself way through. Wow, look at that beautiful trench system that I'm in here. Yeah, it is a running trench going. Well, we came from here and now I'm in the running trench. You see the walls here being built up. Holy, didn't even know that was here. That's what's so exciting by being a history hunter. But this is, you know, Eagle Eye is just boom, rammed right down here. I didn't even know that it was here. He saw it, he's so small. See that? Trench coming in here. I'm gonna see if I can find the end and, and show yeah, it to you. He's yelling, MG, MG, twin MG. <laughs> wow, he's really into this. Look at this position here. These walls are huge and they're so neatly made. Yeah, this divides into Y. This is totally overgrown. It's impossible to see anything. See if I can get onto the other side here and show, look at the beautiful, see that? The outline of the trench coming in here, perfectly crafted into the sides here. That is just beautiful. Yep, there it is. That is wonderful. See that pedestal there? That was a machine gun mountable position. And see it's all the way down at the ocean line. Oh, this is so great. And you can see the pocket for munition. 
right there, the square pocket. I'll take you down there. Nice, see that? That's what we call a munition pocket. They would stick empty boxes in there. And uh, I'm not sure, very often you'll find a spigot here. I can't see it, it could be under here. And the spigot will attach the machine gun, go like that. And you need a munition, a guy would stand next to you, pull out the boxes and just help you out loading the machine gun. And see if we can get that branch away. Let me see. See that? Ow! It's a nestle. It burns me. Let's take a little walk back in time in this trench here. This is fantastic. <laughs> and the other one is right there. It's not easy to see, but it's the same kind of deal. It's impossible to go in there, it's very wet. All right, eagle eyes, we go this way. But just look at this. That trench goes forever up there. Wow, fantastic. Yes, again, he was right. See that? Those rocks are not there for nothing. They are a sure proof of some kind of activity on the top there. So why don't we go up there and check it out? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There are bunker oven pieces laying around on the top here, right here. Got a concrete piece here. And is that an entrance? Yes. Oh, oh my goodness. Even more. This is way beyond what we imagine. Well, we so much want to show you what's down there, but it's totally sealed off and uh, there's nothing to show you actually. All right, we find another thing on the top, so let's see if we can do that. Oh yeah, another one. This one has got a very strange uh, square hole in the middle. It's got a almost 360 degree wall going around all the way here and then there is this room with a few stairs down there and we haven't got a clue <laughs> what is going on here let's go again be maybe what was it a small generator for a searchlight or munition storage for something on the top i couldn't tell you at all all i can say is this hole here there's a square hole here, and this base around goes almost 360 degrees around. That's the last thing we're gonna find here. Another wall. My guess is a storage. That's where camouflage canvases and sticks and stuff on top, and uh, you have a formidable storage area close to the rock side there. Well, that's about it for this adventure. Wow, we found more than we asked for. The next time you ever see a brick wall or a stone wall, look behind it, you might see something very, very special. Um, thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing, and hitting the notification bell. And to my Patreon supporters, what can I say? You are the best. You make this come true, and we couldn't have done it without you. You know that, so thank you, thank you, thank you for that. From me and uh, Eagle Ice, it is uh, kind of over and out and we will definitely see you later in the next adventure. So stay safe, keep smiling and goodbye.